Oromandibular dystonia is uh, characterized by abnormal movements localized to the uh, oromandibular district. What is the oromandibular district? It's the lower part of the face, so the lips, but also involves the tongue and the mandible. Essentially, people may have an uh, opening of your mouth or even involuntary jaw closure. This manifests, especially when eating, and might be very disabling and impacting on chewing. Regarding opening of the jaw, this might impact on speaking and communicating. And when dystonia is affecting the tongue, that might impact eating. Also, when oral mandibular dystonia affects the lip, this might impact on the dynamic of the face and can be also socially disabling as it impairs the ability to communicate with the face. The frequency of this condition is quite rare among all dystonias. Just 80 people per million are affected by this condition, but indeed often is not recognized and also is not treated properly. Is it possible to treat oromandibular dystonia with botulinum toxin? This medication might be very effective, especially for dystonia that provoke jaw closure, because we can improve that involuntary closure. It is a little bit more difficult to treat oromandibular dystonia when it affects the tongue. In this case, we may use some medication. For example, a very effective medication can be tetrabenazine for tongue dystonia or even anticholinergic medication. Oromandibular dystonia may be one symptom of a generalized dystonia syndrome so people may have generalized dystonia with more prominent oromandibular dystonia. In this case, if symptoms are quite severe, also deep brain stimulation may be used to treat these people with generalized dystonia and prominent oromandibular dystonia. This treatment would allow also to effectively treat oromandibular dystonia. Mm -hmm.